Hell yeah, bro. I appreciate you coming out, bro. Cool. Happy to be here, man. Yeah. This is really dope. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. They don't do ha fist bump in Santa Fe or what? <laughs> no, I guess the fuck not. We could do that one more time, though. <laughs> there you go. Oh, yeah. I didn't do the snap. I'm not cool. No. <laughs> oh, yeah, bro. So, what's your name, bro? Tell, tell the world. Leo what you Bud. Do. Or you can call me Aaron. You can... um, I'm an audio engineer producer. I've been doing it for about eight years. Oh, wow. I got oh, yeah. one month over here in, in Albuquerque doing this, this shit. And it's been a blessing. You know, just last week, I was able to quit mm. my part time. Oh, for real? Mm -hmm. So now I'm really doing this music shit full time. Oh, yeah, bro. And That's it's good. what I've yeah. always dreamed of, bro, in the city that I always wanted to be in. So Good shit, bro. Respect, bro. Honestly, that's what I'm trying to do, too, you know, trying to find a way out of the cycle, you know. And mm -hmm. you're already doing it, bro. You're making those those steps already, and that's dope. Like, who would you say your favorite artist working with? There's so many people I like to work with, man, because there's, like, yeah. people who I, like, can match my energy with. Yeah. and just create some crazy shit like a whole song in two hours just because things are flowing yeah i can't really pick one person man it's just, just <laughs> there's so many people that i work with too yeah. it's like there's there's levels to this shit and uh some people are easy to work with some people are a little bit more difficult you need to hold their hand a little bit more but yeah if i had to, if i had to say one person i would probably say age of dom age of dom oh he what kind of music does he he's like rap like rap trap He's got like a very, very clean sound. He's very intricate, uh, uh, very detailed as far as how he wants his vocal to sound and all that. So, and that's what I'm all about. Okay. You know. Yeah, that's dope, bro. Hell yeah. So, what made you want to do this, like producing? I don't know, man. <laughs> Literally, <laughs> I had a homie. We're, we were on Skype, basically. Uh, and he was telling me, yeah, bro, I, I got this track on SoundCloud. It's a progressive house track. I was like, what you're making music you can make music like that shit was beyond me so i check yeah. it out and i'm like i'm just completely amazed by it yeah. i went ahead and downloaded it I, obviously back in the day i had to crack it <laughs> you know what i mean yeah i was in high school so i found a way to get it and was dope. i started with edm music and yeah. then transitioned into hip-hop i always so you'd make like those edm beats yeah i still do actually what? yeah i, I dope, love bro. that you shit. Send so me one of those. i will bro yeah that's dope i'll be releasing some music here in the like future. a ep or like a album or probably just singles just just to test the waters as far as like because i've never dove into releasing music myself yeah. i'm always just in the studio producing engineering mm. so i really want to get my my feet wet so i can actually maybe even show people in case the music does blow up and i could show them a formula like hey i did this let's let me help you blow your music up yeah that's dope bro hell yeah so you're born in santa fe i was actually born in espanola 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 oh, and then yeah. raised in santa fe my entire life so i was there for like 23 years yeah that's dope so do you even like live out here or you just you're i do live out here yeah okay yeah and you said you've got like a month I've been here for a month. Yeah. So I'm still getting acclimated. Like this is the first time I, I'm at a good view even, bro. I've, yeah. I've been at Tower Creek thousands of times, but it's like yeah. never went to a spot like this. I mean, this is yeah. beautiful. <laughs> it's <laughs> nice. Uh, get the whole San Diego. Actually, I've city. been on top of the peak. The See, crest? The San Diego. Oh, the yeah. crest. Oh, That's my God. That's a nice view. I'm trying to get an interview <laughs> up there, bro. That'd be dope. That'd be the craziest yeah. one for sure. Yeah, man. It's I just want to see what be here. down to go up there. <laughs> yeah. It's freaking far, but it's like a whole yeah, that's trip, dope, bro. That's dope that you're, like I said, you're here and what you're doing, bro. Like, cause there's artists out there that, you know, that need guidance, bro. And you kind of have that guidance for artists that are not as known or don't know what they're doing. Cause I remember when I first went to the studio, bro. I, uh, you know, Nick. Yeah, of course, moon, man. Yeah, he, he kind of. They took me in and they kind of showed me, you know, like what to do, how to do it. And it was kind of dope, bro. Like what you say, you get in that flow and like things just click. And that's dope, bro. Like that you have your own little studio and you do your shit. And like I said, you help other people try to keep them you know, on the right mindset. Because sometimes people go in there and they could be like all in their head. Like, what what is he thinking of me? You know? And, right. Oh, yeah, um, absolutely. That yeah. I get a lot of like new artists who come in and they're super nervous 
and I totally understand that. I would be shitting bricks. <laughs> yeah, y'all got bigger balls than me, bro. Because I, <laughs> I, I don't have the balls to go on the mic and get on stage and do that shit. Yeah. That's why I'm in the studio behind the scenes. That's so dope. like, you're already like you're just knowing that, right? You're 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 yeah. one step ahead of me, and um, it's just getting comfortable with the person, mm. right? Because it's it's just nerve wracking, like in the beginning, just meeting anybody in general. Yeah. So to then be vulnerable. Yeah with the shit that you read that, that you wrote and to get it on a song and then to give a good delivery all that is like a lot of work yeah so I, depending on who the person is there's like different flows that we'll go through that's dope to bro. get the song done so like when people come to your studio what do you like what do you normally do how does it go they come in the studio most of the time with a beat okay um ha the other half of the time they'll, they'll come in and they'll be like hey i need you to make me this beat uh, we're gonna. I'm gonna write to it. I'm going to then record it, uh, and then we'll mix and master it. So I'm doing basically everything all in one. Actually, I just had a session today. It was two hours. Yeah. Made the beat. He already had it written, so we recorded yeah. and mixed and mastered in two hours. That's dope. Yeah. Oh yeah. yeah. Who was that? Master CNN. That was his name. Mm -hmm. Where? What kind of music? Rap. Rap. Okay. That was dope. Hip hop. Yeah, bro. I'm honestly, cause I don't make music anymore, but well, I kind of do, and that's why I hit you up the other day, cause I heard some of like the shit you've produced, like yeah. with Jay, some other people. I think the Sun too, right? Have you? Mm -hmm. Yeah, him. Oh, and... I've worked with him. Um, I think I've been in the studio once with him. I'm actually really trying to get him in the studio. The Sun? Yeah, man. Like that guy can. He can sing. Can on... sing. Yeah, he's yeah. Dope. I've heard his stuff from On the Moon, cause I was yeah. I was working and and shadowing Nick for a while. Uh -huh. So I've heard some of this stuff, and it's like, wow, <laughs> why? <laughs> this guy's from here. That's that's yeah. that's what I like. Is that we we can say that there's a really good artist from here yeah. that can represent us that's dope. in that way. Yeah, yeah, that's dope though. To, that you too, like I said, that you're the one kind of like behind the scenes, kind of you know making it happen for trying to make the vocals right, trying to make sure the timing's right and everything, like the beat, whatever, and fucking how they like it and then they go perform it and you know they're they're out there not your song but like you like had part in that and that's dope that's what i like yeah is there'd be times where i'd go to a show at the jam spot or launch pad and then i hear something i didn't say, even produce hey, yo, bud. <laughs> and then you hear my tag or like something i mix or worked on had anything to do with it and i yeah. hear it and then i see the people are enjoying it i'm like that is what brings me joy that's yeah. what fulfills me as a person that's dope that's like at this point where i am mm. i've i've reached success man i get i get to do this shit every day that's i get to record and yeah. be in my studio and, and make money <laughs> that's, fucking that's it yeah. like my only goal right now is mm. to help somebody blow up make that song have something to do with it how the ao bud tag that'd be dope yeah, man. Elevate somebody. yeah wow. man i don't even care if it's my beat if i mixed it if i had anything to do with even if I was in the same studio, mm. like that, that to me is what it's all about. That's right dope, now. bro. Hell yeah. So I know that Albuquerque is like it's really high on crime rate. What do you think that you can make an impact like with what you do, you know? Honestly, I, I want to get to a point where I can influence a large, like mass of people. You know what I mean? I'm not, I'm not anywhere near that. To you know, just like we'll put the guns down. Yeah. Obviously, I understand fully why we carry, why people carry. Yeah. It's it, it's dangerous, right? But if we could just even talk about it a little bit more yeah. and just care for one another even a little bit more. Yeah. It'll go down, man. Like it's, it's all. It's it's really just snowballing. So for like, real. let's just try to do something to fix it. Um. Obviously, like a part of what I want to do as an engineer, as a producer, as get people out of the streets. You know what I mean? From like you go from trapping, from robbing to whatever, right? Yeah. Fuck that. <laughs> Fuck that, and then get in the studio instead. Yeah. Put your dope. money into that. That's dope. Because yeah. that's gonna keep you alive, and like whatever energy you are putting out into the universe, the, the, the law of attraction is gonna give you. Yeah. What you are, man. If you are guns, if you are violence, it's, that's what it's, it's going to bring, man. 
Yeah. I like. I, I, I'm proud that I'm not a violent person, bro. And I, I'm always trying to bring peace into every situation and just bring the best out of everybody. Yeah. Just because that's the type of person that I am. Yeah. Not really want to get into any trouble. Never. That's dope, bro. Yeah, because honestly, you seem like a genuine person. Like, you you do it, like, because it's just what you love and it's, like, in your heart, you know? Like, yeah. it's in your soul. Like, you were just born to do it and you're slowly making it happen, bro. And that's dope because everyone else that I've pretty much interviewed, they take it, everything that they do seriously. And so most of them fucking said that they don't even have jobs anymore. And that's where I'm trying to get, bro. Like, I want to be, like, my own boss, wake up, you know, and then have that schedule like it's uh, uh, my schedule you know like you could just do the work when it needs to be done and then have your day you know and that's pretty dope mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. and it's like what you love doing and that's just that's even more beautiful bro that like and you do what you love and making a living out of it too yeah at the end of the day it could go from that to doing what you love to now not finding like trying to do something on your free time back in the day what i would do on my free time was what i do now for a living <laughs> right <Yeah. laughs> that makes sense so like yeah. how do i relax how do i chill uh, <laughs> like when i'm in the studio and i want to work on my own shit or just have fun yeah. it feels like work right a part of it is that way but the bigger part of it is that mm. it, it's something that i'm good at yeah. and that i wanted to do for a super long time so yeah it's just like, for me i gotta distract myself with whatever like going to shows yeah um network with people and just be a part of the collective that's dope oh yeah so do you make music like your own music in there do you go in the studio like record yourself no no no, <laughs> no i've never had the, the desire to get on the mic bro oh, okay no i've never even done that i never recorded myself or not had one song record. no damn no, I've, I'm producing. Okay. So actually, um, right now with my girl, we are oh. making some music together, but it's her vocal. For real? Mm -hmm. That's dope. Like rapper. It's actually EDM house music, like tech house. Oh, and she's like the vocal. She's that? the vocalist, man. She that's like dope. That's actually how I met her. So really? like one day, this engineer hit me up. He's like, "Hey, man, I got this project that I'm working on. I'd really like for you to help me co-engineer it." And so we met up and. You know, I met her, and then from there, you know, you <laughs> know how things go. And yeah. we've been making hella music, bro. We just don't release it. We don't really? put that stress on ourselves to do it because I obviously have a lot going on with like recording other people's music. Yeah, and you'd probably hear it. You 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 would think it's good, man. But I guess a big part of me is I don't want that music to go unnoticed. Mm. The only reason why I make music is because, well, my my music is because I want to like make people feel a certain way yeah and whether that be like super fucking sad <laughs> or super fucking happy yeah like that's what i want and so if i can't get a large group of, of people even if it's just 10 i'll be happy with it but i don't want it to go unnoticed so whenever i do release it, i want it to be the right way i want to be taught by the people who've done it who've mm -hmm. released music in the past and so i can learn from their mistakes that's and dope. just do do it right basically i think yeah. it deserves that all yeah. music deserves that at the end of the day yeah Take yourself seriously, and other people will too. That's dope. You know? Yeah. Honestly, like, what you're saying right now, like, how you say you want to, like, just wait for the right time, I feel like sometimes you just got to just do it, and, like, it won't go unnoticed eventually, you know? Like, because you're just going to keep doing that if that's, like, what you want to do, and eventually people are going to see it because it's something you love, and that's, that's what I like with these videos too like they're not even some of them that come out like straight ass bro but like i'm just gonna keep putting in the work bro and absolutely and just grow from like my own mistakes you know mm -hmm. and, and of course learn from others too on the way but yeah. hell no what was that <laughs> i was a big ass bug <laughs> yeah but like just work to that where i want to be bro like where I know, like you say, like it, it, it might seem like it won't be noticed, but eventually it will because you put in that time, you put in that effort. Absolutely. And it's going to fucking happen. And that's all there is to it. Absolutely. And as long as you tell yourself, too, like you got this and 
nothing could fold you like you got this but the only thing that could fold you is your own mind bro like that's the only thing that could fold everything anyone, is self-inflicted bro. yeah and that's just i don't know I, I feel like you should put that shit out bro i feel like that would go hard bro. <laughs> For real. maybe i will tomorrow <laughs> so <laughs> oh yeah bro i'd be dope bro because i think honestly i think when you sent me like a beat pack one time i think there was an edm one like I think it was you. I'm not too I'd sure. I'd be sliding those in every so often. Yeah. I, and I think I heard it and I was like kind of mind blown, bro. So mm-hmm. what the fuck? I don't remember if it was you. I'm pretty sure it was. I'll have to go look. And, I don't know, man. But you sent a lot of beat packs. I'm pretty sure I've sent you beat packs, though. Yeah. 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 I, I, I made a song or two, I think, with one of your songs mm-hmm. or one of your beats. And I don't think I released it, though, because <laughs> I kind of got in my head, bro, at the time of music and kind of gave up you know that's all right and yeah it was just something to distract me at the time you know of course but this is something i really love and i want to talk to people and you know and i'm glad that you even showed up bro like that's dope because bro you hit me up of course i'm gonna show up (laughs) oh yeah bro that's just the type of person that i am and i don't give a fuck (laughs) if you if i'm the first video sorry if that made noise no you're good bro i don't care if i'm the first video i don't care if i'm the last video man like to just have a platform to speak on like wow i feel yeah is just what i what i need so yeah. appreciate that even just giving me the opportunity to be here though that's yeah. love yeah i appreciate you bro like because shit things like just even inviting people they like a fucking park bro like what the fuck like at first i was confused because i was like <laughs> we can go to my studio if you want like that's okay you if you're never scared to ask that yeah but then I don't know, like view about that makes sense. <laughs> yeah, Let's speak on yeah. that for sure, bro. Yeah, and I'm trying to like get as anyone out here, bro. It doesn't mm-hmm. matter who it is, just to like, so I could grow too. And from the first video, bro, that I ever posted, I was all shaking, bro. I was all nervous, and now like I'm just like chill, bro. Like mm-hmm. it mm-hmm. just feels good, you know. It feels, mm-hmm. it feels I've right. Been there. Yeah. I've been there. My first studio session with a random rapper. <laughs> I was shitted, bro. I was like, who is this man inside my fucking house? Yeah. Now I can get hella random ass people in my house. And it's normal, like to yeah. me, like it's it's a little nerve wracking, but yeah. um gotta be safe too. Oh. How do you learn how to swim? You just do it, I guess. You just get in the water, right? <laughs> you have to get in the fucking water to learn how to swim. Yeah. If you want to learn how to swim, just do it. That's that that's been my philosophy for like Probably like my entire life, bro. Since I learned how to swim. Yeah. How much? Uh, how many people do you think you've like encountered in these eight years that you've like made music with? How many people? You know. Uh, the I think I've worked myself personally with like I think I'm hitting like 200 artists. That's dope. Yeah. That like, I've gone in the studio that I've recorded that okay. I produced for. That's yeah. that's dope. Like shit. That's more people than I've got on here. <laughs> <laughs> it's a lot. Yeah, yeah. I know. Sometimes I'll look through the folder of like yeah. all the artists that I work. Oh, with. you keep all the list. That's yeah. dope. Yeah. That's it's cool, man. I love it. And yeah, to the next two hundred more, bro. It's all it's all growth. It's all it's all love. I genuinely just appreciate people giving like trusting me yeah. to work on their music, to be vulnerable, mm. and just like allow me to give my input and shit. Yeah, like that shit. I I appreciate that a lot. There's people who are like, don't even like fucking talk. <laughs> yeah. I'm, I'm recording bro yeah uh but i like being able to be in the studio with somebody and like elevate the music with them yeah that's dope. Like, that, that's my goal right now yeah. like i said blow somebody up let's uh, do it this year <laughs> uh, this yeah. year bro just do it bro this year. you gotta fucking tell yourself and believe it bro oh yeah like it already happened yeah, it's already gone. That's how that's how I became the person I am. Like the yeah. engineer that I get to do this. Bro, day. that's dope. that's just who I thought I was even before I wasn't doing it. Yeah. So you, when you were at, in Santa Fe, that's where you had like everything. That's where you're living, and then when you moved here, you brought everything. I brought my whole entire studio hmm. in like a whole whole new house. So it, it had to be set up different. Yeah. But the the overall vibe is there. It's the same. It's what I like. You know, I can go and work in a studio with like a booth and like separate rooms and all that. But if we're working, let's let's be in the same room. Yeah. Let's collaborate. Let's share the ideas the moment they they pop in our head, right away. Yeah. There's like 
I don't want no walls in between us. That's hey, if you got something to say, turn around and tell me. Or just say it onto the mic. Like that, that, like that. That's dope. I like the personal home that. studio vibe. Yeah. I've, I've learned to be very comfortable with it. I work very fast that way. And like people enjoy it overall. Yeah. <laughs> That's dope, bro. I didn't even. So wait, your other studio, did it have like a, like a booth? Like no, setup, no, it's always it? been that way. It's okay. always been in one room. Oh, okay. But in the future, I'm like in the future, maybe a few years from now, I should want to buy a townhouse. Oh, okay. Right? Yeah. So one side would be the studio, one side would be my pad. I don't got to <laughs> drive to the studio. <laughs> you know that's what I mean? Lit. That'd be kind of yeah. smart, I think. Yeah. That's dope, bro. Yeah. One Pretty day, good. one day. Soon enough. That day's going to come, bro. It'll come faster than we expected, bro. Mm -hmm. We just got to take control and make the right choices and make sure we're good and you know we're that right person that we need to be absolutely bro and bro honestly that's just that's dope to hear that um you don't even have to work your other job anymore like that that's really inspiring to hear from people because sometimes starting this the first video that i did i uh interviewed santi yeah you know him yeah of course yeah he uh that's he told me the same thing, bro, and I was like, damn. So I was like, kind of motivating me, bro, to start uh -huh. like grinding this, bro, and uh -huh. we everyone just get this, bro. Like, I don't know. I just some people grew up yeah. being told you can, you know what I mean? Yeah. A lot of us grew up hearing you can't. That makes sense because no one's done it. Mm -hmm. There's so many people right now who want to be the biggest rapper but no one's done it and so it could unmotivate people but to me i see it as an open canvas yeah oh now we could be the first to yeah it's just ch changing your mindset yeah. can go a super long way That's so strange. like people i've said it too people quit music on a daily basis yeah. Every day you've quit. <laughs> Come back. Okay. <laughs> Do some music, bro. Yeah. Hey, if you want, we'll go to the studio after this. <laughs> For real, I don't have any more sessions. Of the... That's dope, bro. <laughs> Me and my boy Jay will fucking do something. <laughs> Whatever, bro. That'd okay, be dope, bro. That's uh, yeah, bro. Yeah, for free. For real. <laughs> yeah. For real. Yeah. Right. What do you think I'm I'm gonna be like, hey, let's go to the studio, it's gonna be forty now. <laughs> He's all three hundred dollars. <laughs> no. Hey, no. No, bro. That's dope. I appreciate that, bro. Hell yeah. Whatever it is, man. <laughs> bro, I'll have to show you some songs first and then see what you think of them and then get an idea. Yeah. And we'll make then. you a beat in like thirty minutes. <laughs> uh damn bro. For real? Exclusive custom one of one Ben G three 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 type beat. <laughs> You won't even Bro, find I haven't those heard on that in a minute. Three, three, three. I, <laughs> I haven't said it in a fat minute. <laughs> That's how you know I'm OG. I know. Yeah, yeah it's lit. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Fuck yeah. Yeah, I'm known, bro. Respect, bro. Fuck yeah. Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah. So, what do you like besides doing like music and the going to shows? What else do you do? Like, you play video games? Go on run? I wish I did, man. I wish I did have time. Um, I'll just be chilling at home watching YouTube. Yeah. I play like a uh, one PC game, bro. What, what I don't have that. Like, Dead by Daylight. It's Isn't like that a like the game. zombie game. It's a horror game, bro. Like basically four survivors, one killer is like Michael Myers, Ghostface. Like, oh, like, okay, yeah, and they chase like you that. and shit. They chase you. Yeah, okay, I've seen yeah. That. Like I like horror shit, bro. Like I'm, yeah. I'm big into like, like even <laughs> ghosts, man. Really? I was like crossing my fingers that my house would be haunted. <laughs> So I have something for to look forward to. Yeah, bro. That's dope. I think our house is haunted. For real? Probably. Let me pull up and fuck uh, with them. <laughs> no? Not uh, even like to bring some sage in and just clear the hill? Nah. Have uh, you all done that? Nah. No, nah, nah, I don't do all that. <laughs> Try it out. No. She has. Did you do it from the end of the house first? And then... I do it. Okay, I'm supposed to do it. For sure. I really do it. Oh, for sure. Yeah. For sure. Yeah, yeah I, don't, I don't really do all that, but. I'll like hear shit or like, I don't know, just for like something, you know? And, yeah, damn. But I've kind of like kicked that negative energy out because mm -hmm. like. Yeah, don't welcome it. I didn't even like, I would tell myself every day I was there alone, just like fuck out my house, my fucking house, you know? And then 
eventually kind of like kind of slowed down because there was some weird shit that would happen at our house bro like uh like the doors would unlock in the middle of the night or the door would be open the windows would For be rip, open the whole window and then the freaking what was it a spatula or what flew at you it was a scraper, bro, like for painting and shit. Oh, yeah. It like flew off a shelf, bro. Like, like flew at me. We were both yeah. standing there and it just like flew at me. Like, yeah. Right there. Oh, my God. And scary. right then and there, bro, that next morning, I just like, I prayed up, dog, in the <laughs> shower, bro. I was on the shower praying up, dog. In the shower. It's getting deep. Yeah. Yeah, it was Damn. weird, bro. But yeah, I just got rid of that negative energy. Yeah. For Four real, hours. from being scared? Yeah. Yeah. He peed himself from his bed all the way to the room. <laughs> yeah. That shit was crazy. Hey, yo. Yeah. Poor baby. Yeah. I, I kicked cr- that shit out, bro. And- yeah. And, I, and also, it's like completely off topic, but you're alive. They're dead, right? It's your house. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck them. Get, get out of here. Yeah. <laughs> for real. Yeah. I was like, get the hell out of here. I don't want that negative energy around me, but like. Sometimes that shit's just naturally manifested, man, when, like, you're doing just a bunch, like, a bunch of bad shit, right? Like, you mm-hmm. just negative person, you're drinking alcohol, yeah. and you're doing a bunch of shit that you're not supposed to. Yeah. Sometimes that shit will manifest into your house. Yeah. All that, of a sudden, there's, like, this thing. Yeah. I could I could see that, bro, honestly. Like, when the room's dirty, it just feels like you're sad. Yes. And if you, like, clean it, it's, like, it's a clean spirit. You know? mm-hmm, like, mm-hmm. get all rid of the bad Feel spirits, good about you know? it. Yeah. You have to feel good about the space that you're in. Yeah. Absolutely. Hell yeah. I see you're wearing the NFL. What, what team are you? Steelers. Steelers? Yeah. Yeah. What was their record last year? 8-9. <laughs> uh, oh, that's not bad. We did ass, bro. My, or 9-8. Nine, eight. Nine, eight, yeah, at least you guys went positive. Wait, who's your team? Hold on. Let me guess. Let me guess. Let me guess. Cowboys? <laughs> No. Hell no. Hell no. Good. Who? Yeah. The Broncos. Ah, oh, dude, I almost said Broncos too. Well, that makes sense. Yeah. There's a lot of Broncos fans out yeah. here. I, I've always been a Broncos fan since I was a kid. And I'm sorry about that, brother. <laughs> hey, this year we got it, bro. Got it unlocked, bro. We got a new coach, new freaking. I, th- I see. The, I see the coach doing something. Yeah. Yeah. I haven't been really like too tapped in with all of it, but I'm like, once the first game starts, bro, I'm gonna be there. You know, mm-hmm. not be there, but like. Just start watching it every yeah. single fucking game. Just watch it. I'm, I'm kind of like, I, I, I'll even watch it all year long, bro. Watch the XFL, USFL, yeah. highlights when in between. Yeah. I'm just like, I fucking love football, bro. So if I can get more of it, I will, bro. I, I haven't had the opportunity to go to a game. That's what sucks, bro. Yeah. I want to go to a real, like, not, and we didn't dope. get this season, but I'm like hoping one day uh, the Broncos will host the Steelers, right? So oh. we just go. It's like four or five hours <laughs> oh, away. Yeah. We went last year, right? I think I saw your vlog, bro. For real? Yeah. Oh, shit. <laughs> yeah, I saw that. Yeah, that yeah. was fucking sick. Who yeah. did y'all? Who did we y'all played her with? team. She's a uh, no, silly, uh, 49ers fan. We beat 49ers? Them. We beat them by like one point, huh? One point? <laughs> what? <laughs> it was a oh. game. Yeah. Oh, I know what game that yeah. was. Yeah. I know exactly what game that was. We were sitting all the way at the top, bro. We could barely even see him, but we could like see everything. That was dope, but like, but that's cool. Yeah, still. it was dope. But I had a blast, bro. I was like, that's I knew insane. millions of people were watching it, and I was there, bro. Like that was dope, bro. That's crazy. It's bro. the best feeling ever, bro. When you go to your first game, you're gonna love that shit. Oh bro. fuck yeah, I'm excited. Yeah, I'm actually going to uh, Pennsylvania. Yeah, so I'm like close to Pittsburgh, closer. Yeah, to Pittsburgh. Just go drive by the the stadium. Mm-hmm. Go walk on the fucking the premises, it. bro. Just to see it. Yeah, the they might even have their shop open too. They do tours. They do yeah. tours. There's a lot of places that do tours too. So, hell yeah, bro. I'd love to do that one day. Hell yeah, bro. Fucking. Well, is there anything else you want to say, bro? Like positive, like anything these kids, this new generation needs to hear, bro. Um. Just take yourself seriously. You know what I mean. You haven't. You haven't seen what you are capable of. That's because you're not even there yet. So whatever you're doing, do it every single day. Do it two times a day. Do it three times, ten times a day for a hundred years. Every single day. That's the consistency you need yeah. to do anything. Whether that is music, producing, engineering, shit, fucking landscaping. Yeah. Whatever. 
Do it every single day. I promise you, you will become the best. Yeah. And that's not even about becoming the best. Just doing what you are comfortable with doing. Yeah. Just like you. How are you doing this right now? Next year from now, we're going to think back. You're going to share it. You're, we're going to share this interview. You're going to be like, dude, how far have we came? <laughs> For real. I know. That's facts. Bro. I know. That's facts. I know. I honestly, this, the vision with this is to have like multiple camera angles, lighting, mm-hmm. and better little chairs and just like maybe just like that, bro. And I have it at the park still or somewhere. At Absolutely. Get, get a good view. Yeah. Shit. This hell of views. Yeah. Spots everywhere, bro. Yeah, bro. This fucking bro. city is huge, man. Yeah. Hell yeah, bro. Well, sure. We're going to wrap this up, bro. I appreciate you coming. Do you want to shout out your handle? Whatever. Sure. Everyone... You can follow me on Instagram. It's just A O Bud, A Y O B U D D. Hit me up if you need studio time. I'm on the west side. Sorry, I'm still new to Albuquerque. I'm on the <laughs> west side. So uh, let me know. We'll take your music to the next level and just have fun with it. Hell yeah, bro. I really appreciate you coming out. Hell oh, yeah, man. Thank you for sure. This has been the best, dog. Hell yeah. Okay. <laughs>